So now, this, the OCO order will help you to be able to set a take profit, uh, to set a take profit order, and at the same time, to be able to set a stop loss order. How awesome is that? So it's very, very, very easy to understand if you've already understood the stop limit order and you've understood the limit order. Okay, because OCO is now a combination of both the orders. And when do you use this? You use this when you want to set a take profit and a stop loss. And why would you want to do that? Probably you're not always on your computer and you just want to place a trade and go uh, on with your daily endeavors. But you don't want to leave your trade open just in case anything or there's so much uh, volatility in the market. And to protect yourself, you would want to place a take profit order or, and why would you do that? Just in case the market goes up and comes down before you are back on your computer to check how the market have been uh, over the last few hours that you are away. Or you would want to set a stop loss order just, the, just, just in case the market comes down and you don't want to lose your money. Okay. Now, what you are going to do is to illustrate on how you can use the OCO. And to do that, you just need to come here under the trading uh, window and just click on here, just this drop down arrow, and you'll be able to see the OCO order below the stop limit. Now, if you notice, uh, the OCO is giving us quite a number of parameters for us to fill. Okay. So now, what you're going to do, I want to first um, illustrate the cell, uh, the OCO cell limit, okay? The OCO order for selling because it's a bit easier. It will be a bit easier for you to understand when we've done the sell, then we do the buy. So for me to do that, what I'm going to do is, let me buy some PYR very quickly using the market order. Uh, let me just say I want to spend like uh, $45. Want to buy then market order. So you see now how the market order is coming in. Anytime you want to buy quickly, that's when you use it. You don't really care how much it's selling at. So now we have our 10 PYRs here and we want to set an OCO order. So now pay attention. Let me just uh, enlarge this so that we can be able to see what we have here. So already we can let's first check at how much did we buy this PYR using the market order. As you can see here, the price is 4.26. If we go to order history and look at this order that got filled, we actually bought it at 4.27, just a little bit higher than where the current price is. Now, so we, we already know that we've bought our PYR at 4.27. So the next thing that you're going to look at is where are we looking to take our profits? One thing is for sure, because we've already seen that this is a very strong resistance area because the prices have not been able to break above this point. This can uh, serve as our, as our take profit, which is 5.46, okay? So to be on the safer side, what you're going to do we are going to put the take profit first. So we are here, sell, then OCO. Here we are. So here, you can see we have the price, we have the stop, the stop price, and we have the limit, the limit price. Okay? So the stop, sorry, the price, this is where you put, where you want to collect your profits at. And for us, because we've identified there's a resistance here and the prices might get there and then come back, we don't want to miss this uh, upward uh, movement. However small it is, we don't want to miss it. So we're going to say we want to sell our assets at 5.45. Okay? Because we know there's a resistance here. And higher chances are if the market gets to this point, might come down. So if we take our profits at this point, we will be good. However, the market might also proceed beyond this point. And well, if it proceeds, it's still okay. We've already corrected our profits 
at this point and in trading no profit is small profit and never regret that you corrected profits uh, just in case you've seen that the market continued to go up and you probably exited early you know it's better to have those small profits than gain the profits and lose them if the market retraces so our price is our take profit area which is 5.45 now this stock is where now we want to cut our losses we already identified our support level to be 3.73 so we're going to put 37.73 here and we want our order to be executed at 3.65 and how many pyrs do we want to sell probably all of them okay and this would give us 58 dollars this 58 dollars is in respect to if our order gets filled uh, if the prices goes up now one cancels the other what does that mean this means if the price continues to go up and gets to 5.45 it means that this order will be filled and we will no longer be having pyr uh, that we, we we can use to to stop the losses meaning the stop loss order will be cancelled alternatively if the price comes down okay and gets to 3.75 sorry 3.73 an order to sell our 10 pyr at 3.65 is going to be placed and if the market continues to come down and gets to 3.65 this order will be executed and our order will be filled and that means our take profit order will be cancelled that is why one cancels the other now if i i click on sell pyr notice what will happen under the open orders i'm going to have two orders remember initially when we were using these other types of orders except the market order we were only having one open order but when we, we use the oco i click sell pyr notice what happened oco sell order created and here we go we have two sell orders now one is a take profit order and that is the limit maker here okay and this is what it means we want to sell our pyr at the price of 5.45 remember you take profit by selling okay and we want to sell 10.6 10 10.672 pyrs and when our order gets filled 100%, we are going to get back 58.16 USDT or dollars, if you like. Now, this is our stop loss order or a sell stop limit order, basically meaning the stop loss. So this means we also want to sell our 10.672 PYRs if the price gets to 3.65 because we believe the price might continue to go down and we don't want to suffer more losses and for that reason if the price gets to 3.73 or if the order is equal to or less than 3.73 an order to sell 10.672 pyrs will be executed at uh, the price of 3.65 and we are going to get $38 uh, back okay so when I uh, when one of these orders gets filled then the other one is going to be cancelled okay let me know if that makes sense before we go to the buy side